Crust Gourmet Pizza Bar recently opened their first international outlet in Singapore. QSR Media was there to catch up with Costa Anastasiadis to talk about the plans for expansion in Singapore and the region. So Costa, here in Singapore, yes. first outlet out of Australia, tell us about it. Well for us Singapore was an obvious choice. Uh, the cultural palette of the Singaporeans we thought was a safe bet. Uh, there's a massive Western pot influence in, in food here. So um, it, it, we had a lot of interest about coming here and uh, we're very excited to have our first one in Holland Village. Did you do it yourself or did you get help? We're doing it over Obviously all the services we used were Singaporeans. We used a lot of local service, our accountants and solicitors and builders, all locals. So uh, having them on board has really fast-tracked this project and made it possible. What's the difference between operating in the Australian environment and operating in Singapore? Still very early days. So I'll let you know more in about a month. But from, from everything I see, the operation is, is, is identical to that of our operations in Australia. Uh, the only thing we've had to tweak, obviously, is the menu and the offering. But um, as far as it goes from an operational point of view, everything is exactly the same. What about uh, labour as a proportion of your cost versus rent versus food? Absolutely. We have found that food costs have been relative to food costs that, uh, you know, back home in Australia. One of the things that uh, we came into this market knowing would be labour costs would be relatively low, and that, that, is, that is the case. On the other hand, the rents are significantly higher than what you're paying back home. By how much? By three times, three or four times. Is it offset by the labour by the uh, labour cost? As I said, it evens itself out, so it's you know it's within proportionally it does it all adds up. Now, tell me how you've done it here. Is it a wholly owned store? Do you have business partners? What's the arrangement? This is a, a company owned store. Uh, we've done this uh, as a joint venture with an uh, with an existing franchisee from Australia. Okay. And what about plans for the rest of Asia? It may be early, but what are you thinking? Well, we're very excited about Singapore. We th we we feel very confident about the market. We've got a very aggressive growth strategy in place for the next 12 months. We're going to enter, be entering the retail food, the food courts as well, which we're about to launch in Australia in the next six weeks. So potential uh, is, is unlimited. And if we can get it right here, we believe that it's a footstep into Asia. And then, you know, who knows what can happen from there. Now, of course, there's some other pizza chains, but at a different end of the spectrum. Uh, I'm thinking here Eagles Boys. I've just introduced sandwiches for lunch. Tell us what you think about that. And is there a role for a, a pizza chain to start offering different alternative menus at different times of the day, like sandwiches? Well, I can't comment on, on other establishments, but what, what I will say is that our focus is purely on offering a, a high-end, a healthier option, a pizza offering for, for the Singaporean people. Uh, in comparison to what they've traditionally been used to, uh, we won't deviate from what we know how to do best, and that is pizza. And what does your pizza start at here? What's the average price? The average price starts at uh, twenty-two dollars. So Singaporeans are known to be value shoppers. Your pizzas are a lot more expensive than competitors. Why are they going to come to crust? So for us, the value is in the experience. Customers coming into the store are going to have a food experience, a unique experience. It's not only about the food, it's about the theatre and about the quality of the food. Uh, we're offering a healthier option. It's, it's unlike anything that we've probably seen here as far as the pizza offering goes in, in this country. Now Australia is 67 outlets now. Yeah. How many do you think Singapore will support? We believe there's a market here that's equivalent to what we've got in Sydney. We believe we could have a presence of between 30 and 40 stores in Singapore. Amazing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great.